Good afternoon, my beloved family. God bless you all in Jesus' name. How are we all doing today? I hope we all are fine and we are doing great. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I bring you good news again. Good news about Jesus Christ. Who is this Jesus? Who is this Savior? Who is this who is this man that came to die for me? Who is this person that so far the flesh for me to live today? Who is he? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He is the one that came to die. That came as a flesh to die for you. That manifests in the flesh and justifies in the spirit. He is the one. He is the one that came to die for you to live today. Who is the one that came to die for your sin, my brothers and sisters? For today, you can live. You can do also everything. He is the one that came to give you freedom. He is the one that came to make peace between you and God, the Spirit. He is the one. He is the one that came to suffer the flesh for you to be saved. My brothers and sisters, what is that thing that you cannot give up? That you want your soul to be perished and you want your flesh to be enjoying. I am here to tell you today that Jesus have come to suffer in the flesh and he died for you to have life today for you not to be a slave to sin you said no you want to be a slave to sin my sister those life you are living my brother you are a slave to sin if you continue living this life christ have come to die for you for you not to be a slave to sin for you not to be a slave to the flesh Rather be a slave to God who will give you eternal life. You say that you cannot give away that wisdom, that attachment, that jeans, that makeup, that yeri, that, that gold and silver. You say you don't want that, that, that allergies. My sister, are you not a slave to sin like that? Who wants to be a slave to sin? I don't want to be a slave to sin. I am here to tell you, my brothers and sisters. You want to be a slave to sin. You are fornicating, sleeping with a woman who is not your husband. Jesus has died for you, this sin. He has come to die for this sin. But still yet, you want to still be a slave? Say no. Say I don't want to be a slave to sin. Jesus is calling you to repent now. He said he has have come to, to suffer the flesh. He said your soul is for him. He said, yeah, your soul is for him. This is the time. You need to say no to that flesh. You need to say no to that sin. Do not allow your, your flesh to take over your spirit. Hallelujah. My sister, my brother, do not allow. You still have the opportunity now to repent. You still have the opportunity now to say, Lord, forgive me. Look at what Jesus did for you. Let's go to the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, from verse 1. He said, For as, as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. He suffered for us in the flesh. He said, Harm yourself likewise. Harm yourself likewise. With the same mind. For he that had suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. If you suffer in the flesh, you have ceased from sin, my brothers and sisters. You have ceased from sin because Christ suffered for us in the flesh. This is the thing God wants you to also do. Do not allow any unclean thing to enter. That's so. He said that he no longer shall live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. This is the little time that you have now, my brothers and sisters. The little time that is remaining. Do not leave it for flesh. The, the little time that you have, the rest of time that you have now. Do let it be for the will of God. He said the rest of his time in the flesh. To the lust of men, but to the will of God. The little time that you have now. Use it for the will of God. Do not use it for sin anymore. Do not allow sin to take over you anymore. My brothers and sisters. 
my brothers and sister suffer in the flesh so that you will be seized from sin so that you will not be a slave to sin so you will not be a slave to Lucifer write that this rest of time that you have let the will of God let the will of God be done in your life use it for God use it to serve God use it to live for Christ do not use it to live for me I am here to tell you again to repent repent from makeup all those life you are living I'm going to add it to this video if you are still doing those things that you are going to see on this video repent and give your life to Jesus repent and accept Jesus now there is no time and as you do our lovely Jesus we have mercy upon you and draw you closer Amen Shalom repent before it's too late